Welcome travelers to the realm of Alora, a land reborn from the ashes of oblivion, cradled in the light of the sovereign pillars, and shrouded in the mysteries of ages past. I am Alaric Thornbloom, chronicler of Yardun, and I invite you to journey with me through the annals of time to the dawn of the first era, the Age of Awakening. In the aftermath of the calamity that tore the old world asunder, the cosmos itself wept for the void that had been left in the fabric of existence. From this void, the essence of creation and destruction, the sovereign pillars emerged, casting their divine light across the darkness and sowing the seeds of a new beginning. The first era began with the pillars' call, a celestial harmony that resonated through the empty void, reaching the far corners of the cosmos. It was a summoning, an invitation to those souls wandering the spaces between worlds, seeking refuge, purpose, and a new dawn. And so they came, drawn to the burgeoning realm of Alora by the promise of hope and renewal. Among these first settlers were beings of extraordinary lineage, elves, drawn by the verdant allure of Alora's forests, dwarves, captivated by the untouched riches veined through the mountains, humans, adaptable and resilient, finding their foothold in the plains and valleys, and countless other beings, each contributing to the tapestry of this new world. As the first era unfolded, the settlers forged their lives amidst the raw, untamed beauty of Alora. They built cities and sanctuaries, temples and towers, each a testament to their resilience and their faith in the sovereign pillars. It was a time of exploration, of laying the foundations of what Alora meant to become, a realm of boundless potential, guided by the light of divinity. Yet, even in this age of beginnings, the shadows whispered of challenges to come. The harmony of the pillar's call had disturbed ancient forces, lurking in the depths of the world and beyond, setting the stage for the trials that would shape the eras to follow. As the first era drew to a close, Alora stood at the precipice of destiny, its people united under the banner of the Triadic Conclave, ready to face the darkness that encroached upon their light. And thus, the Age of Awakening gave way to the Era of Voidreth, where the true metal of Alora's children would be tested against the tides of fate. The prosperity and peace fostered in the Age of Awakening had flourished under the vigilant watch of the Triadic Conclave. Yet, not all hearts were content to bask in the light of the sovereign pillars. Among the faithful, one sought a different path, a vision of power that transcended the boundaries set by divine decree. This was Voidreth, once a guardian of Alora, now its most formidable challenger. Voidreth's ambition may have been born of a desire to protect Alora, to shield it from threats both seen and unseen. But his methods, steeped in the forbidden knowledge and the harnessing of dark energies, sowed fear and division among the realm. The once unified voice of the Triadic Conclave fractured, giving rise to the whispers of war and the specter of conflict on a scale unseen since the Calamity. As tensions mounted, the landscape of Alora became a chessboard for the powers that be, with cities, forests, and mountains as its pieces, heroes rose to challenge Voidreth's ascendancy, their legacies etched in the very soul of the realm, their deeds a beacon for those who would follow. The era of Voidreth was not merely an age of conflict, it was a crucible for the spirits of Alora. In the shadow of adversity, the realm's inhabitants discovered the strength of unity, the power of sacrifice, and the indomitable will to preserve the light of the sovereign pillars against the encroaching darkness. In their quest to safeguard Alora, the sovereign pillars sought the guidance of the heavens. Their call, pure and resolute, pierced the veil of the cosmos, awakening the world soul at the heart of the realm. From this divine communion, the god sparks emerged, Sacred wellsprings of power scattered across the land, each a testament to the pillar's plea for aid. With the god sparks illuminating the path to salvation, the sovereign pillars ventured forth, seeking these nascent fonts of energy. It was at these hallowed sites that they summoned the god beasts, majestic entities of immense power, each bonded to a god spark, 
each a guardian of Ballora's multifaceted essence. Together, the Pillars, the Thirteen, and the God Beasts formed a formidable alliance, united in purpose and resolve against the looming threat of Void Wrath. Aside from the Sovereign Pillars, the Thirteen were the strongest warriors of the Order. They stood as paragons of the virtues the Pillars embodied. Their ascension marked not only their own destiny, but also the hope of Alora. Their courage, wisdom, and strength would be the realm's bulwark against the darkness that sought to engulf it. Thus began an epic saga of battles fought in the shadow and light, where the valor of the Thirteen intertwined with the primal might of the God Beasts under the guiding light of the Sovereign Pillars. This coalition, born of necessity and forged in the fires of divine will, rallied the peoples of Alora, inspiring unity and defiance in the face of despair. As the era unfolded, the legends of the Thirteen, the awe-inspiring presence of the God Beasts, and the unwavering resolve of the Sovereign Pillars became the bedrock of Aloran society. Their deeds enshrined in the annals of history served as a beacon for generations to come, reminding all of the power of unity and the indomitable spirit to those who stand in defense of their world. In the aftermath of Void Ref's banishment, the Sovereign Pillars, architects of Alora's salvation, bestowed upon the realm a parting gift. The High Lords, each major city was entrusted to a High Lord, chosen for their wisdom, strength, and compassion to guide their people into prosperity and peace. As the Pillars ascended to the heavens, known henceforth as Silver Coins, they left behind a legacy of unity and a blueprint for harmony among the diverse inhabitants of Alora. The Thirteen, alongside the majestic God Beasts, traverse the rejuvenated lands, guardians of the peace that have been so clearly won. Together, they roamed Alora, mending the scars of war, nurturing the bonds between the races, and safeguarding the balance of the natural and the divine. Their presence was a comforting constant, a reminder of the strength found in unity and the enduring watchfulness of the realm's protectors. Yet, as the years went by, the God Beasts, those formidable allies in the realm's darkest hour, receded into the ethereal plane. A silent pact was made then, a promise that they would return should Alora ever call upon them. The Thirteen, their task completed, became enshrined in legend, frozen in time, waiting for the day their guidance would once again be needed. As the Age of Renewal flourished, seeds of a new era began to stir beneath the surface of peace. Whispers of change, of an impending awakening, breeze through the corridors of power and the humblest of homes alike. Prophets spoke of the Age of Twilight, a time foretold when one among the Thirteen would arise from their slumber, heralding the dawn of a new chapter in Alora's saga. Under the ever-watchful eyes of the stars, Alora stands at a threshold of destiny, awaiting the awakening of the Twilight Heiress. Her emergence will signify the beginning of a new age where the past and future converge, where hidden truths come to light, and when the realm will face challenges both ancient and new. As the age of twilight beckons, so too does the call for heroes, for unity, and for the courage to face the unknown. In the heart of Alora, a new story awaits, a tale of adventure, mystery, and the eternal hope that even in the darkest night, the dawn will break. So farewell for now, travelers, until we meet again in the unfolding stories of Alora. <laughs>